Hey there, how's it going? It's Martin here and in this video I'm going to give you a full demo of myself and Abby's brand new Social Neos plugin. Now this is a brand new take on a tried and tested uh, concept. It's based around locking content and rewarding people for unlocking that content by by uh, sharing it via a share button or opting in or a few other cool little things which we're going to show you. We've added a lot of extra stuff to that concept and built it out into something that is perfect for umpteen different uses, different marketing purposes and different niches. Everything from video to offline to Teespring, it's all covered there. So definitely this is a plugin that's going to resonate with your list and something you could do very, very well with. So here's the the uh, dashboard, very straightforward standard dashboard for the plugin. People have their dashboard profile. Now profile is where they set up their accounts for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Google Plus and these are the four social media sites that people have to uh, people can share with to unlock content and the cool thing here is you can add loads of different social profiles it doesn't have to just be tied to one Facebook account or one Twitter account per installation that kind of loads of different ones then we've got uh, get response MailChimp Aweber and eye contact the way this works is we have uh, I'll show you in a moment. We have an opt-in form where people have to manually enter their details and click submit and it does its thing and unlocks the content or it can be via the share button and let's say someone clicks the Facebook share button the Facebook app connects with the user's email and adds it to your list so that's the cool thing as well when they share it it also builds a list. Uh, the campaign section this is where you add a social news campaign uh, I'll show you that in a moment now this is, this is an analytics uh, section, you can see how many unlocks there were per views etc so it's very useful. Next thing is the notification center. Now I'll use Facebook as an example because it's the one that's going to be most obvious for you. You know on Facebook in the top right hand side there's the notifications little pop up area. Well what we do is once someone connects with your app via social news and unlocks content or whatever, their permission gets recorded in the app and in our plugin and that means you can select any profile you want here and select which campaign you're going for and just put in a URL or a subject and a message and when you click send po or click post here let's say you had a thousand people who unlocked a thousand messages would be staggered and appear out in all their Facebook accounts and the cool thing is normally in Facebook those have to go to uh, just a page tab or an iframe we've set it up so it can redirect to any URL so that's basically like a social autoresponder that's kind of the, the twist we've put on it then multiple campaigns is where you can combine the, the buttons to make a few different share options or lock options appear over the same content so let's just get into making a new campaign here and we're going to go for a social campaign first I'm just going to call this JV demo we'll go for a Facebook profile and we'll leave it as get response the post message now this is what when people click share this is what's going to get shared on their wall and they can also invite friends tweet it uh, do a LinkedIn message or share it in Google Plus so we'll just leave those as they are and now what do we want to lock here text or video you'll notice here if, you th if they select text they can basically lock any type of content whatsoever I mean infographics HTML images whatever so they just click text for that and here's all the different options alright so you got all these different backgrounds or sorry these are their overlays that go over the top of the content as you can see here we've got uh, we've got well over a hundred and we'll be adding more you can just keep you can just keep adding those so let's say they pick this one it appears here like so and they can also upload their own background so that's the, the main basis for it here that's the it's gonna go over the top of their content and they can set up the border so let's say they want a white border bit of width there you go go back to background again you can actually control the, uh, the transparency of the transparency of the background as well for the the video one, which I'll show you in a second. Then the body, this is the wizzy wig area, so you can add anything they want. Set up you know, any colors, any text size, alignment. It's pretty much uh, it's all here. And they can also add images, links, pretty much any any type of custom HTML at all here. They can even go into source code mode and really customize the entire thing in there. So 
So very very simple, very easy to use. So you can really create endless possibilities of your unlock content here. And so that's the text one. I'm not going to save that. I'm just going to show you the video one now. How that works. So I select video. For the I'll leave the same content, and I'm going to show you the button thing this time. We've got all these different type of buttons. We get multi campaign, Facebook specific, Google, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And you can upload your own. So we're going to say this red Twitter button. And there's the text, and you'll see the background here shows a video. That's just a random placeholder at the moment. But when you go back into the background section here, you can set up the transparency of the video to make it completely block it out or show a little bit of it. So you probably want to show a little bit of it in order for them to see what the video is and to entice them to click it. You can even completely uh, make the video completely clear as well. So people will be clicking and they'll see they have to click this so it's all it's all good. Back up the top here we have the opt-in section so I'm going to click that now to show you it. Opt-in is where again they build up a complete opt-in form here. I'm going to turn up the uh, transparency again. So we're going to say we're doing an opt-in form over a video. Click opt-in here. You can control all the aspects of it, the, uh, the button color the button text color, border color, box height and so on. It's all straightforward. You can see those change now. That's grand. And you can even add a custom background in and around the uh, the opt-in form. And we've added a load more kind of suitable images for that. So if you click that, there's a little image added in. So the way that that's particularly useful would be if you want the full video to be shown. Go back to background here now and we've done the transparency down. So now it's going to have an opt-in background just around the opt-in form, so that kind of stands out a bit. And you might want to add some uh, some border thickness there. Make it red, just to make it stand out a bit, and so on. You get the idea. Uh, simply to use this now, let's say you want to lock a video. Uh, this one for, is for an opt-in form. We lock a video for social content here so I'll just go back and stick in one of our social buttons. We just click generate short code. It goes over into the dashboard, saves it here, gives them the code so we just copy that and now I'm going to go in and make a new page and show you how simple this is to use. So because it's short code based they can really add any type of video that's, that they want underneath it the uh, the shortcut will pick it up so I'm just going to go and grab a random YouTube video now and paste it in here so we delete this bit paste it in just click just click publish over here and now we're just going to view the page as you can see here now it adds the lock over the top of the video so I'm not going to unlock it unlock that because then it'll be crooked and it won't show again so I'm just going to go back in here and change some of the settings and refresh so you can see it. Basically the, the unlock step is it just gets rid of the overlay and then it goes and uh, adds, adds, the, uh, cont adds, adds the image to your list and it shows the video underneath which can be played normally so let's say we want to put some uh, image over the video. Let's save that. And we're going to refresh again. And there it is now so you can see the video sort of fail uh it's fail out over the video. You can go back and now we want to change it to an opt in form and we'll change it to I don't know different uh different social channel we'll go for Google Plus this time and uh, we'll make it uh, no actually we'll make it an opt-in form I showed you that one we'll make it an opt-in form this time and uh, we'll give the opt-in form a little background as well sorry change that background and make, we'll give the opt-in form a little blurred background of this red one make it stand out let's save that and refresh again so this time it would be unlocked once the person opts in. So 
you get the idea, so on it goes, and that's how uh, that's how you lock the contents. The basic premise of the the plugin is to create viral traffic via sharing, and also to get people's emails. The all important list building aspect. You can lock videos. You can lock coupon codes, deals, loads of stuff. You'd see it all on our sales page. Mm -hmm.